Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 3 of WWE Supercard Season 2. Oh, so the first thing first is um, King of the Ring. We are 42 games in, my record is 21 to 21. And people are trying too hard to lose because I haven't refreshed since yesterday, like... 12, maybe 18 hours ago was the last time I refreshed. I've got 21 to 21 record. It's ridiculous. Like, okay, you can see my team here. Yeah, it's fully empty. Everyone is empty. Let's let's go back and see the last time I actually refilled because it was a long time ago. Believe me. Yeah, maybe. No. Uh, well, it was still running down then, but I hadn't refreshed. Run back. Yeah. Yes. Right there. Right there. Five. Five nil. So there. Okay. Here was also maxed. Okay. So I might have. Okay, there, okay. My last time I refreshed was here. Um, where I lost 5 0, um, which was game 26. And we are now on game 42. That was very spot on. 18 hours. Wait, is that right? 26? 16 hours. 16 hours. <laughs> I was close. Um, but whatever, 16 hours ago was the last time I refreshed. I've got 21 to 20 on record. I'm sitting in ninth, just by one. I don't want to go through because I just want out of this King of the Ring. And it's going to take an extra three hours if I go through. It could happen. But there's two people above me who I think are trying, but they're not really too far ahead. It's too late for them to get out of it now. They're definitely through to the next round. So I'm hoping they both beat me. And then Jericho, I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to win or lose against him. Um, I've tried to put in my weakest possible teams, you know, I've got uncompatible tag teams. I've got no up or down arrows in my team at all. But um, it's just everything. Everything's just, just different and strange and I'm still winning matches, which is annoying. But yeah, that's what's going on. My exhibition win to loss ratio. It's still pretty bad, but I've played 555 matches now, which is a lot of matches, especially for day three of the game. This is technically like day two and a half because, you know, the first day it only got released at like 9 p.m. or something like that. So in the UK at least anyway. So, you know, this is technically like day two and a half, but whatever. This is my team. It's the same as yesterday, except uh, Tito's been switched out with a fully maxed out Jack Swaggerific. I want to start training him up because I might get an Ultra Rare Jack Swag at some point and he would be probably my best or second best card. Um, so I had to start using him in matches to get all these maxed out. I finally figured out how those worked probably in as you can see he's all three tokens on toughness. But um, I finally figured out what these 10 and 20 do. So once you play 10 matches your power gets increased by however many. I think it's 5. And then once it goes up again to 20, it gets increased by another 5, and that's why the 10 is there. That's the total maxed it has gained from jumping up the two times. Um, and that's what that does. So this has been boosted up by 16, the plus 43, um, because it's did like 8 there, and then another 8 there. Um, that's what these are for. That's what the plus 10s are. So it's like 5, 10, and so on and so forth. I think it's the same for Super Rare. No, it's plus eight, of course, because, yeah, okay, so that's like four extra stat points once you get ten matches, and another four there, and then for the abilities it's six, um, which is something, but, um, yeah, that's how it works, <laughs> and, yeah, it took a while to figure out, but, um, I've been just doing general training because I haven't got any cards that can increase my team any better. Uh, like, of course, Tito is better than Jack Swagger by 84 points, as you can see there, but Jack makes a tag team, so I'm just keeping him in there. Just just for that reason and that reason only. Uh, the other cards I've been training are down here. I've trained both Eric Runs, and they're both the same. Um, I pulled a Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Bam Bam from the board, and what else has been happening? I've got a couple of rare pros I could make, but I guess, like, what's the point right now? Um, and other stuff, other stuff, oh! The best thing to happen, I got a second Rosa Mendez. Yes! Got a second Rosa Mendez, common, and now in the catalog, I have 106 out of 102. 
the fully maxed out comments. And if you didn't see yesterday's episode, the reason I says 106 out of 102 is because it's wrong. It's it's just wrong. It should be 106 out of 106, but it's not. So I've fully got everything here. Um, proed every card now. And Rosa, done. Done. Great. But uh, yeah, that's it. There's 106 cards. It says 102. Don't know why. Another thing I've noticed, it's it's just wrong generally. Like, um, if you go down here, I noticed it was someone. Uh, it might it have been Adam Rose. No, no, not Adam Rose. It was someone. Who was it again? Let's scroll down here and see if I can remember just by looking. Uh, someone was wrong. I can't. Brock Lesnar's got 24. Wow, he's got a lot of cards. <laughs> I didn't realize he had that many. Um, maybe it was. Cameron's got 80. Like, Cameron's got 80. Come on now. It's not needed. It's not needed. Um, Charisma has seven. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But anyway, it says I only got two of seven. I've got three. I've got three, four, five, six. Uh, wow, well, I've definitely got three of seven. It says two, so that's another thing wrong. Charlotte was not the one that was wrong. Someone was definitely wrong here. Maybe it was Mizdow. No, or Sandow. No. Some of the cards, though, all of them have wrong counts. Um, like it says four instead of six or whatever stuff like that i noticed that though Dolph you guys got 24 edge is 20. what is all this what is all this i haven't but i've definitely pulled an energy card so that's wrong <laughs> i've definitely pulled an energy card so i don't know why that's still there um but yeah it's it's just wrong some of these counts um heat sled i might uh, i don't know i can't remember but anyway that's that's what it was, like the counts have run all over the place in the catalog, so just ignore them, ignore them. But um, yeah, I got Rosa finished off all the commons now and I'm working my way through the uncommons. I've got a list written down of all the ones that I still need a pro, so every time I get one I'm just like, okay, remember to not use that to train a card. And I would go into exhibition here, but it says win on network. Come on now, there we go. Um, so. I've been, I trained up Jack Swagger, I trained up um, both of the Eric Rowans, and uh, if we click on one here, both of them are exactly the same. I used all three tokens on power. He's going to be a powerhouse for me, um, because I noticed that in my deck, well, I've got I've got Ryback, but you know, um, I think I want a better power guy. so. Eric Rohn's gonna step up to the plate, but yeah, I've played like 20 matches with all of them, so his stats are maxed out. The only thing that's not is ability um, on both cards, which is a shame. That's only one away from getting the plus however much boost. Um, halfway? Uh, six, I think? Or something? Eight? Um, I don't know, but that's just how it is. Um, it's weird, it's weird, but... I just can't play. I've been trying to put my deck lower down um, so that I can use these cards, but I'm losing like every match. Like there, 33. Um, so that's plus six there. I could just use the other Eric Rowan, but it's just it's annoying to use the lower tier cards because even if I've got like Eric, both Eric Rowans in, I switch in Hacksaw and bam bam, and then put in the lower Divas, I'm losing like every match. Uh, I, I don't want to lose every match. Um, but the, also, the other thing I've been training is Emma. The rare Emma. Um, and once I start training, I know I got Nikki Bella, who I could have proed. I got a Paige, who I could have proed. I got Natalia, who I could have proed. Um, but I, I started on Emma first, so I might as well keep going because once my King of the Ring finishes, I'm going to pro Nikki Bella here, and then Emma's going to fill in the slot for the second Diva because once I max out Emma, she will be better than what Nikki's stats are here. Uh, the only thing is, though, I haven't used any. I haven't used Emma at all. I put all three on Charisma also, just because her boost is Charisma, and with the extra Charisma boost and everything, I thought that would be the way to go, especially since Nikki's boost is power and toughness. Um, but yeah, this this Emma, I, I can't remember ever using her, but apparently I've used her a bit, quite a bit, because, you know, it's got the, like things and everything Yeah, but... It's just annoying to use the lower tier cards um, at the minute, so... Especially rares, I'm really not too interested because I'm hoping I'm going to get better cards than rares soon anyway, so... I'm not interested in maxing out playing all the matches with rare cards. Um, 
so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna. And the abilities, like I said yesterday, the abilities really don't phase me, so I'm not gonna do it for Eric Rowan. I really don't care. If you need a count on an ability to win, then you know it's it's not gonna do you too much good anyway. As long as all the power, toughness, speed, charisma is done, I'm fine with that. I don't really care about the, the ability boost. But yeah, that's how I'm going. That's that's my team. That is my team, and I'm just I'm just kind of just going through the motions right now, playing matches, getting cards, training up other cards, waiting for the King of the Ring to finish, so then I can start making some upgrades with Eric Rowan and Nikki Bella and Emma. But until then, I'm just kind of in limbo, waiting to hopefully pull another card, but another ultra rare card. But I just I just haven't. I got one yesterday, which was Jack Swagger, when I first joined Ultra Rare, and even then, once I bumped up to the Ultra Rare tier, it took me about 45 minutes going through before I got that Ultra Rare card. Like, usually in Season 1, it was like after your first maybe three matches in a new tier, you got the, the tier card. It took me 35 minutes of playing before I got the tier card. I was The board reset three times before I got the Ultra Rare. I was just like... Did I just not get one for this tier? Is that not a thing that happens anymore? But apparently it was just taking its time. And ever since then, I haven't got another one. So I'm getting just left in the dark here with my team suffering until I can make upgrades from King of the Ring. And hopefully once that finishes and I put in all my good cards now, um, it'll take me to the Ultra Rare King of the Ring tier. And I'll actually try on that because, you know, it's, it's gonna help me. I need the Ultra Rare cards. It was a stupid idea trying to go in straight away um, before I, I got anywhere in King of the Ring because Super Rares just aren't going to do anything for me. I kind of suspected it wouldn't at the time do much for me, but I jumped into King of the Ring because I was anxious anyway. And the Super Rares just aren't going to do much, so hopefully I can get into the Ultra Rare. I haven't really looked at my deck, actually, we'll, we'll do that after this. We'll see who my worst cards are going to be um, in that situation. For King of the Ring, because obviously... Oh no, I, I meant to click Ryback there, what am I doing? Please don't say I would have I won if I used Ryback. Actually, I'm going to win either way, never mind. But yeah, um, I am going to have some weak cards in my King of the Ring team, and I know that, so I need to check my team properly, because obviously I'm going to have Nikki Bella proed out, and then I'm going to have Emma proed out, so there's two Divas gone. So I'm going to need a third Diva, since it's a uh, Tag Team Diva and a Singles Diva now. And I need eight superstars. No, seven superstars. So we'll have a look through and see who my best seven superstars are after this. Two. Oh, I'll go rare right toughness. Great. I never use them boosts at all. I find them pretty pointless to be honest, but it's whatever. So who are my top seven superstars? So obviously we've got the Undertaker, Edge, Tito, Ryback, that's four. Uh, Jack Swire, five. Eric Rome will be six. And then one more person will be seven out of one of these super rares that I've got. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So one card is going to be untrained. Same with the Divas. Um, that's fine, I think. I think that's pretty fine. Um, I should be able to get in to the next rounds easy enough, hopefully. <laughs> I say that, but it's definitely seven, isn't it? Four, five, or seven, yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, well, actually, am I losing this match? No, I'm not winning. Okay, this guy must be trying, otherwise I would have probably won at least one round. Um, but good, I'm losing. <laughs> I want out of here as quick as I can. I don't care. Actually, what prize am I going to get? I think I'll get a rare, maybe? I think it's a rare. Let's see. If I don't come on the top eight, I get, I get an uncommon card and a common card. Well, that's what I'm going to get. That's what two days of my life being stuck in a King of the Rings is going to get. An uncommon card and a common card. Yep. <laughs> yep. What a waste of time. What a waste of two days. It's just silly. But um, I'm going to play this one last match and then end the episode there. So let's see if I can get one more good card maybe. Let's see. See if we can win the match at least first, so Undertaker's as a beast, he's been beasting it out, probably for me. Um, he wins nearly every match he's involved in. Edge is also great, he usually wins against other ultra rares. Um, he's just an all round great card, he's the best ultra rare out of the three random ones that I got. And toughness, 
use this Nikki Bella and we will lose. I've been losing a lot of Divas matches, but hopefully once I uh, super rare pro uh, Nikki, then you know she'll beat the ultra rare max out once I finish max on her out. So that's the plan at least. A win 2 1. And let's see. Let's start from the top again. The Maze and Adam Rose. Okay. So let's train up Emma and then end the episode there. That's what I'm going to do. So Emma is level 11 currently. And yeah, let's start training her up. So we'll go to commons first. I can now use every common, including Rosa Mendez, if I got another one, which I don't think I've had one yet. No, I, th I thought that was there for a split second, but it's Alicia Fox, of course. So let's see. That's uh, one level, level 12. And. We'll use uncommons now, but I've got a list of ones I'm keeping, so Roman Reigns I have probably before. Uh, Charlotte is on that list, Seamus is not. The Miz I can use, Mark Henry. Uh, yeah, I can use him. And Table I can use, so there we go. I'm just giving Charlotte the nest. All the rest I have put previously, that's fine. I don't think that's going to get to the 13. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Actually, I do have some other things. Um, I have the uh, enhancements, of course. I never use these at all, so I just, I've just been using these as trainer material. They're actually really good to use as trainer material. So, yes, I will use that. It took a rare and an uncommon to go up one level there. Come on, I was right at the end of the bar. Boom. There we go. 13 out of 15, that's not going to take long to get to a maxed out. And um, I'm going to use the tokens again on Charisma, of course. So we'll just use them now. And the third one will also be used on Charisma. And yeah, that's how things are going. So how are you doing on Supercard? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. I'm doing alright. I'm kind of at the level where I can't be doing any better for a while. So how are you doing? What's your team looking like? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you next time.